Now, COVID cases in southeastern New Mexico continue to skyrocket. Two zip codes in Roswell were ranked number one and number two in the state yesterday. So are county officials working to crack down? As News 13's Corey King found out, they might actually open up more. Nobody's wearing masks. I mean, hardly people, anybody's wearing masks. Positive COVID numbers in Chavez County are continuing to surge. Yesterday, they recorded alone 135 positive cases. The state health department is shifting to a tiered system for reopening. It would mean Chavez County's positivity rate would need to be under 5% and have less than eight cases per 100,000. It's frustrating. It's frustrating for me as a single parent because I have to deal with my kids you know, not being in school, and my youngest who doesn't attend school's daycare is closed. Right now, Chavez County's positivity rate is above 23%, and cases per 100,000 sits at 151. That means that Chavez County could be in the red for weeks. Residents we spoke with said they don't know how much longer they can handle being on lockdown. The fear of getting sick and then, you know, nobody else can take care of my kids. Who else besides me? You know, if I get sick, then what? Corey King, Care QB News 13. Now, the Roswell City Council is holding a special meeting tonight to talk about opening up all city facilities. The resolution would direct the city manager to open the facilities and would require him to get the council's consent before closing any facility for more than 48 hours. Now, if this passes, some of those facilities would be in violation of the governor's health order.